Hello everyone, it's me again, Dotic Apocalypse. Sorry that I did not upload a video last week. Let's just say that I was a little busy and all that. But hey, I have a new video now for you today. And today we're going to be reviewing the Doctor Who set, Revelation of the Daleks. Based on my favourite story to come out of the Colin Bacon era, and my second favorite classic series story to feature the Daleks. Now, let's get into the review, shall we? Let's first by removing the Daleks, and removing Davos, and focus it on the Sixth Doctor first, who who it oh. Sorry, I was just moving a bit and trying to think of what to say. Anyway, so let's get into the articulation. I can do a 360 right here. The arms can move out, and there's a little bit of an elbow. And a swivel here. The wrist can do a swivel. Sorry, that's a little bit dark. Because, because let's just say that my shadow is being annoying. He has a waist swivel. He can kick out to 90 degrees. He has a decent spread, a swivel at the top of the leg, and a kick at the knee, and that's the articulation. Now, as for the detail, it looks very nice. This might just be my favorite Colin Baker figure, and um, let's just remove his morning cloak that we see him wear throughout part one and at the start of part two. And yes, he is the he is the doctor with the most ridiculous outfit ever. Even to the point where Colin Baker hated it. And the painting is very good, especially with the pink here and here. Nice that they gave him a little cap badge. Even though in the story it looked like one of the Aristocats. And yes, I've seen that movie. Don't don't need to hate me. And I love the waistcoat detail. The trousers are very nicely done with some creases and wrinkles here and there. Especially on here. Maybe not so much as wrinkles. Now I would have done a comparison between the original figure, but I customized that one to be the Sixth Doctor from the Mysterious Planet. Funny enough, that's the episode that came out that was released after Revelation of the Daleks. And let's take a briefly look at the Morning Cloak. Now, I've heard Ru now. Now, what I'm saying is not a rumour, I almost said that because I, I'm a bit of an idiot, is that there were so many god, da, god damn things known as quality control, where pretty much they were like, now stuff it, let's just badly paint it and all that. Luckily for me, that, not, that did not happen. Well, except for one figure. And I'll get to that figure in a bit. And as for the morning cloak, so it has a little bit of paint bleeds here and there. Especially here. And yeah, very much. It's a decent cloak. I mean, it is good with. The Sixth Doctor, and you can just 
put it on him, and it looks ridiculously big. As in, he's maybe trying to do a Superman or Batman, but then I'll just start to sound like Batman March's review of it. But hey, uh, overall, I like this figure. Now we're on to to the creator of the Daleks, Davros, played by Terry Malloy, who Malloy is my absolute favorite Davros. No joke. Sorry, Terry Malloy. I mean, sorry, Michael Risher. Sorry, Julian Bleach, and sorry, David Goodison. Even though that one was the worst. You just can't beat Malloy's Davros. So the articulation with Davros. His head can do a little turn here. His arm can bend around. He has a swivel here. And his arm can move. And he has an articulation at the elbow. I almost forgot what I was going to say there. He also has a wrist, but I'll get to that feature. Okay, so the detail is the bottom half is a very nice look to it. It's one of the coolest things ever, in my opinion. Not fully. Because it's black and silver. He has some detail on the control panel with some buttons here and there. And the little knobs don't don't internet just whether you do not enjoy the fact that I just said that. Anyway, so he has the wires at the top and it looks very nice. Especially with the red, yellow and silver. His face detailing is beautiful to look at. I mean, not actually as in beautiful, but it's just very nice to look at. Especially with the lack of eyes, I mean, that's just disturbing. Along with this microphone. And also, I forgot to mention the shirt. That's very nicely black. So I mentioned there was a feature with him. And that is, if you press a button right here. That means this control panel just falls out. Now, I am aware that this is a feature just for the Resurrection of the Daleks figure. But I have no idea why they decide to keep it for other Davos figures from the classic series. But it's still very nice. And I forgot to show you what's it, what's it like in here. And it's a very nice detail. Especially with some silver here now. And is the back of Davos. I love, I just love the little detail on it, like buttons. And it's very nice. So he also has another feature. You see the stump, the dead hand. Now, I mentioned this in one of my other reviews that I was going to review this set. But I could not find his actual hand. Well, if you remove the loose dump hand, you can put on his regular hand. So now, Davros is his actual self from part two of Revelation of the Daleks. And you can use him in any type of stop motion if you want to. So yeah, that's Davros. He's very nice. Now, let's get on to the last two figures. And let's very quickly talk about Davros's hand. It's very nice, and I nearly forgot about that. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go into the Daleks already. And here they are. Oh boy, another Daleks. I'm getting, I'm gonna guess one put, and it's gonna comment on my video saying, stop reviewing Daleks related stuff. I'm looking at you, Dr. Amazing. You're not amazing. I can do whatever I want with my videos. Deal with it. 
So yeah. So for the details of the Daleks, it's just your standard Dalek. Let me just review. Let me just do the articulation on this one. I can do the full 360 degree spin. I can go up and down. Ball join here. And ball join here. And he's on three wheels. And yeah. And yeah, so. So pretty much I love the Renegade Dalek. Let me just move him to the side. He's a Renegade Dalek. I love that the feature of the black. I mean the white here. It's very nice. And also, and also before the sound effects statics, you can remove the eye to make it look like it's destroyed. And you can very easily put it back on. I love the black slats and lining here. It is really nicely done. And heck, it's even my preferred version of a grey Dalek. And... It's not, and he's very nice. And now let's get on to to the necklace, Static, the original mascot for the channel, before he was replaced by by everyone's favorite screamer. But yeah, yeah, he is the necklace, Static. Now, if you check my video when I showed him off the first time, you will notice there was something different right now it's got full on gold on the mesh yeah that was me i do not like the fact that it did not have that much gold on it so i just done it gold and pretty much the same articulation with the eye the head the gun the plunger yeah pretty much and as for the ears, I forgot to mention on that Dalek, they look really nice, and he nearly knocked over the camera. I would have killed him if he did, if he was alive. The golden mesh on the neck pin is really nicely done. And these spheres. I mentioned quality control. Look at the skirt here. No, wait. Oh, yeah. Here's two. That looks different to the others, that's because of me, I scratched it so badly to the point where it's now painted by me. But yeah, look here. Notice the, the darker gold? Yep, quality control. Did pretty badly on this figure, but not as much as... As, oh no, the side's missing, that means I, uh, no, he did came with his eye, which I'm quite happy. So pretty much I could easily just get some more gold paint and white paint because the wall joint is chipping away. Paint, and the paint, everything gold on it, except the neck pin because that's actually pretty nice. So yeah, let me just bring the figures back in. And let's drag in, I mean, bring in Colin. So yeah, overall, what do I think of this set? Well, it's actually very nice. I do like this set. We sure it's got quality control with this static. And the feature with Davos's panel coming off is really confusing of why they kept it. But still, it's a really nice set. I recommend that you get it if you want it. And yeah, that's pretty much something. Nothing else to say. I have no idea what I'm going to review next, but once I find what I'm going to be reviewing next week, well then, I will see you soon for another review.